React Admin is awesome for taking the grunt work out of creating applications that serve as admin style applications. So you can think create, read, update, delete operations, listing out data, managing information for certain kinds of subjects, that sort of thing. React Admin excels at giving us tools to make those kinds of applications even faster. Now, there are various data sources that can be used in a React Admin application to get to a database. And if we happen to be using Prisma as the ORM to access our database, there's a really great way of tying it into the React Admin app as well. Today, let's take a look at how to use the RA data simple Prisma package along with a Prisma Postgres database so that we can get access to some data in a Postgres database very simply. So here we've got a React admin application. It uses Next.js and we are just set up with a very simple resource to start out with. We don't yet have anything that ties into Prisma, but we'll get that set up. The first thing that we should do is initialize Prisma in the project and get a database at the same time. So in the terminal here, let's first install Prisma, npm install, we'll save it as a dev dependency, the Prisma CLI. Next, let's install Prisma client, npm install at Prisma slash client. All right, so we're now ready to initialize Prisma. We can do that with MPX, Prisma, and init. And we'll pass this flag here, dash dash db. This is the flag to use if we want to set up a new Prisma Postgres database as we initialize. I'm going to stick with US East 1 as the default. Give your project a name. I'll do React Admin Prisma for mine. All right, so the database was created. We have got this Prisma directory here. It's got a schema, and we'll fill this out in just a minute. But first, let's look in the environment file. In .env, we've got this database URL, which points to accelerate.prismadata.net. And this is the connection string to our Prisma Postgres database. Now, if we want to view this in Prisma console, we can do that as well. So we're over here at console.prisma.io. We'll refresh this. And here is our new database that got created. Why don't we add a model to our schema and we can start to get some data into our database. So let's keep things simple for now. We'll just create a single post model. So we'll do model post. That's going to have an ID. I'm going to choose int for this. It will auto increment. Then we'll want a title. We'll want content. And that should be good for now, just title and content. All right, we'll save our schema. And the next step is to migrate our database. So in the terminal, we'll do npx prisma migrate dev. We'll pass a name as well, and we can say init for the name. All right, it looks like the migration ran. We can check things out over here in Studio. So if we click into the project, into the environment, and into Studio, we have our post model here, and we have no data here yet, but we can actually add a record. So let's go ahead and add a record. We'll do title, my first post, and then content is my first post body. All right, let's save that. All right, so over in our React admin application, our admin app component here has a single resource right now. And the name here is post. We can visualize this in the browser. It's loaded up here. There's our post table. But right now it's not bringing any data through. And that's because we need to set up the data provider to give us access to our Prisma Postgres database. And we can do that with the RA data simple Prisma package. So let's install that. npm install RA data simple. Prisma. Okay, so it's installed. Let's bring it in as a data provider now. So import data provider from RA data simple Prisma. That needs to be passed over to our admin components. So the data provider prop here, we can pass that our data provider function. And we're going to go to slash API. Now there is an options object that we could pass here, but we don't have options right now. We're going to just pass our API path. And the idea here is that this is going to look up what we have here for our API route that has a catch-all resource route. So we've got this dynamic resource route, which goes into route.ts. And now this is the route where we've got to fill out how to respond with data from Prisma Postgres. But before we furnish that out, we have to get our Prisma client instance. Since we're in a Next.js application, a good pattern is to establish a singleton, a Prisma client singleton that can be used across the next application. And typically that looks like this. So we've got a Prisma client singleton. It returns a Prisma client instance. To play nicely with edge deployments, we have got the Prisma client edge package that we're using here. That's where we're getting Prisma client from. And then we're setting it up here as a global so that it can be passed around and imported from wherever we might need it. All right, so that's all set up. Let's close that up. We'll close up db.ts. And now the route handling looks like this. We want to get our default handler that comes from the RA data simple Prisma package. We've got our Prisma singleton coming from that DB file we just created. And then we've got our handler. And it's the default handler here coming from the RA data simple Prisma package that's doing all the heavy lifting for returning results from calls through Prisma clients. 
So we'll save this file. Then back over in the browser, what we've got here is that post that we put into Prisma Studio over in the Prisma console. And so we can do all of the CRUD things that we might like to do here. We can click into it. We can update some data, save it. We can delete the record. And so with just a few lines of code, we're able to tie into our Prisma Postgres database. Now this catch-all handler here doesn't leave a ton of room for flexibility, but if we wanted to, we could define a resource route specifically. For example, under API, we could create a new file called post.ts, and we could create a handler in here that would have specific behavior that we might want, and this route would be reached from React Admin to serve our data. So there's a whole lot more that we could do with React Admin and Prisma together. Hopefully this gives you a good sense of how they tie together using the RA Data Simple Prisma package. Be sure to check out Prisma Postgres over at console.prisma.io. You can get started with a Prisma Postgres database in just a few clicks. You can access it through the console here through Studio. And you can also get access to things like Accelerate for connection pooling and caching, or Pulse, which gives you access to real-time events. If you've got any questions at all about using Prisma Postgres and React Admin together, we're happy to help you out. Thanks for watching.